Hi, okay, I'm going to make this quick. This is a video that will be a follow-up to my previous video I have made. It is a tutorial teaching you how to make uh, an Amazon storefront website from scratch without knowing how to code with the caveat that uh, you're not yet qualified to be an actual Amazon influencer. It's for people who don't have enough followers yet who are trying to you know, get started and build a following, but you wanna make some income while you're trying to do this affiliate marketing. Perfect for you. That video has some traction. However, it's come to my attention now, I've heard you loud and clear, that Amazon, for whatever reason, I don't know why they did this, does not support links to products with an image anymore. All they do is links to products with just text. You can see my website here that I built in my tutorial is broken. I haven't touched it in a while to be quite frank. So I was reading the comments and saw it's broken. So if you came from that other video I made and you're getting really frustrated about how to get around this problem, I'm about to show you. That's what this entire video will be. So you've come to the part in my other video where you're setting up all your individual products, but you're looking at something like this. How do we get around this? Well, you'll be in luck because the way I found to get around it is actually easier than what I was showing you before. And to be quite honest, I don't know why I did didn't do this before. So this is gonna be way easier. Maybe it's a little blessing in disguise. So I am on a live preview of my site here. And down here at the bottom, this is the solution I have come up with for that problem. So you can see there is an image now, drawing tablet, text looks great. If I click on the image, it will go to the product I am recommending. That's the goal, perfect. How do we do it? It's gonna be stupid, simple pimple. I don't know why I didn't do this from the start. Okay. Here's a product I want to recommend. What are we gonna do? So you used to be able to, at the top left here, get, there were two options. There was one for get link with image and get text link. Now there's just one, the last one, text link. Bummer. I don't know why they got rid of the image option. Uh, sad that they don't have it, but we still need the link. So go ahead and grab, you can do the full, I don't know why you'd want to. The short is just way easier to keep track of. So go ahead and grab the link to the product you want to recommend. That camera is crazy expensive. Don't spend that much on a Mark III. If you're a camera aficionado happening to be watching this, don't spend that much. There are websites you can buy them like refurbished and repaired and practically new. Now the thing that sucks here, it will be a very manual process, but this is for people who are just getting started. So you probably don't have a lot of products to recommend yet. So it won't be too painful. You're going to have to download an image for every product. I know it sucks, but it won't take too long. Pick the best image that reflects the product. You just need one. I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to right click on that. Save image as you've done this before. Go ahead and save the image, save it to your computer. I recommend creating a folder just for your store to store all of those images like Amazon storefront and all of your, um, there's a word for this assets, all of your assets for your website can live in that folder. Once you have the image saved, come back to your Amazon storefront in the edit mode and you're going to click on images in the top right here and click upload. Then go ahead and find where that image was located on your computer and go ahead and upload it. So here's the camera. I'm going to drag it up to this one I already made. I'm going to make it the same size, relatively speaking. That's fine. And it needs some text. So next on the top right, I'm going to click text box and I'm going to label this camera perin photography. And I'll change this to 14, make it bold and we're going to center it, make it a bit smaller, drag it right under. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but let me undo. When you drag it right under the image, when that little blue bar appears, that's gonna merge them together so it's like one clickable link. That's exactly what we want. We don't want the image, or sorry, we don't want the text to be in a separate area. Go ahead and get that blue bar, merge them together. Let's edit that font to match because I thought I made it the right size. Oh, I made it 18. Okay. After you've got the product image, you've got the text going, we need an actual link. So we grabbed that link earlier. Once you have that URL copied on your clipboard, go ahead and click on Now, if you see this, that's the wrong area. You want to click on just the image. So go ahead and give it a second click. Make sure it looks like this when you click on the image. 
and you should see this little insert link icon. That's exactly what you want. We're going to click that and it's asking for the link. We're going to paste that link and apply. And we've got a URL associated with that image and text now. So I'm going to publish these changes. I want to make sure to publish the changes so I can go ahead and view it live on online and make sure it's working properly. So I've published my changes. I'm on the live website now. Let's scroll down. I'm going to click on this camera and see if it takes me to the correct product on Amazon. Click. And there's the product and make sure when you're doing that, check the URL at the top. It's a very long URL, but check in there that your username is in there somewhere. That will be your affiliate link. So just to like double, triple check, you're getting credit for sales. And just as a little trivia fact, something I've been experiencing while I've been experimenting with my own Amazon storefront and affiliate marketing, I didn't know this, but you can actually get credit for sales of products you're not even recommending. So for example, if I, if somebody clicks on this link right here, this camera link, they went to Amazon, they looked at the camera, they decided they didn't want it. Bummer. I don't get that sale. But if they, in that session, go to any other products and buy any other products, I get credit for that sale because I drove them to Amazon's website. That was my marketing efforts that drove them there. So I actually get credit for those sales. I've been making credits for sales for stuff I haven't even been recommending and it confused me at first until I figured that out. I happen to think that's pretty cool. What do we need to do next? I highly recommend checking how your website looks in like tablet view and phone view. And they actually have this down on the bottom, right? If you see, if I hover over that, it says phone. So when I click phone, this is going to be how it looks on a phone. We know these links are broken. I got to fix them, but here it looks just fine on a phone. So sometimes if your images are too large, it'll look strange on a phone. So just make sure you're previewing in all of the formats and yeah. So this kind of sucks. I don't know why Amazon got rid of the link that has the image in it, but you're going to have to spend a little bit of time to download those product images and just do it the way I just showed you. That's the workaround. It is pretty manual. That does kind of suck, but we're just starting out. We don't have a lot of products a little bit at a time. You'll be fine. So sorry. It was so confusing for some of the newer viewers who watched that video in the past few weeks or months. And they're like, what's going on? I can't do this tutorial now. Apologies. I didn't know they changed it. Now that I know here I am to fix it. So I hope this helps. If you want a full tutorial again from scratch from the start with this new method now, let me know. I can totally happy to do that for you. So Thank you for watching. If you found anything useful in this video, please consider subscribing or sticking around or giving me a like and a comment because that tells YouTube that I'm putting good content out there, valuable content, and I'm not wasting your time. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you with the next one.